Hi parents, so this is Miss Matthews at Entheos Academy and this is going to be your first video um, in a stream of videos that you will get one every Monday morning that would explain what we're going to do for that week, what our students will be required to do. So because this is our first one, maybe we will take a few minutes to go through the structure and how this will look like, what it would look like, right? Because it's new to, to all of us. So firstly, we're going to talk about structure. So every Monday morning, I'll send you an email. In that email, there will be a link to this video that you can see visually and you can also read the email. Um, I'll send it to you by 9 a.m. In this email, I will outline what is required work for the week and what is supplementary work. So supplementary work meaning optional. Students don't have to do it, but if they want to, they can very well do it and I will encourage them that they, that they do it. Um, all of this work is due by the end of that week and support provided during 9 to 3. So if they do the work between 9 to 3 p.m. every day, Monday to Friday, they can email me, send me messages, and I will provide them with support, encouragement, clarification, um, anything that they need to get through those lessons. So I will respond to every email or text within one hour of receiving it. Um, attendance. So I will, I still have to record attendance every day, which I will do. Um, and I will mark your kids as present unless you specifically call me and say, you know what? Um, my child is not able to do any work today. So then I will mark them as absent, okay? Communication. So this is how we're going to communicate. We're gonna communicate via email, um, phone calls. Most of you would already have my phone number because I called a lot of you and I left messages. Um, Google Classroom. This one is particularly important, especially for the children, for the kids. All the materials that they will need will be on Google Classroom. Google Classroom will have all instructions, all links, all assignments. It would have all due dates. Um, everything will be on Google Classroom. And Google Classroom is made up of a stream where we can talk to each other um, real time. And we can also see the materials and assignments. How do the kids get into Google Classroom? They log into their Google, right, using their school email. And to the top right hand side of that um, website, web page, they will see a grid, um, just like a dotted grid. They click on the grid and then they will be able to see classroom icon, which they click on. Also in that grid, there is one called Google Hangouts that they can also click on. Um, and that is if and when we are able to do a video message or a video chat, and we can do that anytime. Um, if you would like to do that, you can let me know and I could set something up that the parents and I can talk or the kids and I can talk. Um, so it's all optional. Class Dojo. If all of those things don't work, you can send me a message on Class Dojo. I will still monitor it, but all of my materials, remember, will be on Google Classroom, okay? So Google Hangouts for any kind of video meeting or we could use FaceTime. So this is how we are going to communicate. Now, what would be those activities that we are going to be required to do on the end, by the end of March 30th, that week? So let's look at what the weekly assignments would be on March 30th. First thing, math. So we need all kids to be doing lesson 24 for that week. Lesson 24 is on dividing fractions. Um, I already did some video tutorials on each session for that lesson. It's on my YouTube channel and that link will be in the email and it's also on Google Classroom. For kids who are below grade level, what I've also done is um, assigned two worksheets for kids who are below grade level for them to complete that are on fractions just not at this level. And that can also be found in Google Classroom under required assignments. Number two, I already math and reading um, about 50 minutes on each of those per week. Three, <clears throat> every kid should read about 30 minutes a day 
four, they should write about what they've read um, and they can write about what they've read in their ELA notebooks. Um, and it's just really like a paragraph about what is the main idea, what is the main message of what they've read and what are the key details, supporting details, um, summarizing what they've read. And that should only be like a paragraph or so long, not a lot. And number five, every kid should also log into Utah Compose. I already assigned lessons in there. They should complete one lesson per day on Utah Compose, one lesson per day. And that lesson is really short. It's usually about grammar and conventions of grammar. So some of them are like two to five minutes long, um, if so much. And number six, we have a science essay that we were supposed to do in school. Um, I'm just gonna have the kids work on it every day while we're at home. Um, so if they spend some time every day working on a science assignment, it's an essay where they write, it's a narrative piece where they write about a family who has gone through an earthquake and what that was like. We've read two books on this already. One was The Earth Dragon Awaits and the other one was Earthquake in the Early Morning. So they have a good idea of what it looks like and how it reads. So now they are able to produce their own piece of writing and luckily, unluckily for us, they do have a real life experience, right? from our last earthquake of 5.7 in Salt Lake. And seven, we do have a science worksheet um, that we also need to get done. It was, was part of our earthquake expedition. Um, it also can be found on Google Classroom <clears throat> and it's about preparing your family for disasters. Okay, and all of this should only take about five and a half hours per week to complete. Okay, so it's not a lot. And all of these supplementary activities can be found on Google Classroom. Um, it says subject and supplementary. So if it's science supplementary, math supplementary, ELA supplementary, etc., all of that can be found on Google Classroom. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. All right. Um, everything's in Spanish too. So Keep that in mind. Um, all my schedules and everything would be in Spanish. All right, take care. See ya.